Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually filming in my room for a change because we've actually decorated from the last time I filmed in my room, which I think was my PCOS um, video, but we have done up our bedroom. So here's my bed. But yeah, we've done up our bedroom. Anyway, the reason I'm filming here is because Charlie's actually playing in his playroom and I actually use that room to film in as well, like half of it is his playroom and then like the other half is my filming room and obviously I only really film when like he's not here or the kids are in bed or something but he is playing in there nicely so I didn't want to ruin his his fun time but anyway I went to Home Bargains yesterday to pick up a cutlery holder like do you know when you wash your cutlery and then you put it in the cutlery holder I wanted to get one of them and then I also went in to get pegs I went in to get pegs as well guess what came out without a cutlery holder without pegs but I spent 42 quid I don't know what I spent 42 pound on well obviously it's this stuff but uh, yeah I spent 42 pound so I th thought I'd show you guys what I um went ahead and bought but I have all this I'm going to go and take everything out of the bags though because otherwise this is going to be really noisy and Charlie's already playing with his cars and I can hear him laughing and giggling away so I'll take everything out of the bags and then I'll show you guys what I purchased. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. If you like Home Bargains Hauls, Home Bargains Haul? Home Bargain Hauls comment down below let me know what your favorite thing is from home and bargains or home bargains i always say home and bargains and it really really infuriates me and quite a lot of other people let me know your favorite product below and i'll be sure to pop back in and potentially pick it up because i like i like home bargains I get the noisy thing out of the way first because it's in a wrapper still. But I picked up a like bath mat and like a pedestal mat and it was a non-slip one. Our, we've got three bathrooms and I've only got two like sets of bath mats. So in our ensuite I just use like a random singular bath mat. So in our main bathroom I thought I could use the blue ones that we have in there to put in the ensuite. And then in our main bathroom I wanted to get like nice, fresh. Um, I want it to be like all white and neutral in there. And they're just all white and they look really, really fluffy and they scanned at $6.99 but there was a price tag for $5.99. So I said to the woman and she took the pound off. But they're a bargain. And then I picked up some more of the Dr. Dr. Beckman Colour and Dirt Collector. These are just the sheets that you pop in your wash and like they collect all the like colours that run. Um, and I normally get like the big pack but they only had this one and it comes with 24 sheets. I don't know why it says 20 plus 4 four extra sheets um but yeah I really really rate these as well and because sometimes I don't always have enough to do a white wash don't always have enough to do a color wash sometimes I'll just bung it in together with some vanish powder and one of these and everything seems to come up really nice it just says fill your washing machine with laundry and add detergent as recommended place one to two sheets in the back of your washing machine depending on the color intensity and simply remove and throw away uh, but yeah I actually really rate these they do like cheaper versions and they do like a couple of different brands but I just stick to these because I know they work next I picked up three of these blue um what are these blue tablet things that you pop in the back of the toilet we've got three toilets so I thought I figured like one for each toilet but I've never used the purple ones before these are violet I normally always get the blue ones because I like the color of the blue water is my water gonna be purple now I'll have to find out these were really inexpensive I think these are like 170 around the one to two pound mark bargain on the theme of toilet i picked up these power action toilet wipes and these are flushable which i liked and um, cuts through grease and dirt kills e coli mrsa flu viruses salmonella and listeria alcohol and bleach free but yeah these were two for one pound fifty uh, or two for a pound something like that but i thought these were good because you can just like wipe and flush and we're potty training at the minute so there's been like a couple of accidents where i've had to go and get like wipes or bleach or something like that so i thought these would be handy just for like a little day-to-day um, -day clean not like obviously a big replacement clean I'm rambling but they had a few different flavors um these are like lemon and lime by the looks of it because there's a lemon and a lime then sticking with like the cleaning sort of theme I also picked up some of this Sif perfect finish stainless steel streak free spray and this is a 435 ml spray bottle this is super super expensive this spray is so expensive, but we've got quite a lot of stainless steel in the kitchen. We've got obviously the draining board, um, the 
sink and then we've got obviously the worktops but also we have um like pull out can racks and they're stainless steel and they get so streaky because obviously like you use your hands to open and close them all the time but this is so expensive but this was actually in there for 1.99 and that's definitely the cheapest i've seen it compared to like tesco and stuff like that so i thought i'd pick it up i've never used it before but i think um it's quite rated but they also do like oven and grill lime scale mold stain remover but this is the first one that i'm trying um so i'll let you guys know in the description box what i think of this i use the sif power cream and i really rate that for the hob tops and stuff but I thought this would be quite handy because it's in a spray bottle let me know if you've used it and what you think of it also I really like the packaging the next thing that I got Charlie's actually open it so I thought I'd just show you quickly these are just the three to six years Bassett vitamins the, these are the multivitamins ones and these are and um, these are the strawberry flavored ones and you get 30 in here and these are I think they're like three pound something in home bargains three to four pound um which I know you could probably get it cheaper elsewhere but next I just picked up some Panadol and you get I just picked up some Panadol because Ashley's been suffering really bad with the toothache. And I really like the packaging for Panadol. It's in like this little book. I don't know if that's a weird thing to like. But these were like £1 or something like that. £1.70. My feet are super hurting sitting on them. I've just got to sit like a different way because I was really hurt my feet sat on them. Then I just picked up four of these Cowingate um, pouches just to have to hand. These are from six months and they are apple, apricot with millet. Um, source of fibre, vitamin C, no added sugar, one portion of fruit. But these, believe it or not, were 25p each. They were four for a pound, which I thought was a bargain. And I only really like, I don't really like to give her loads and loads of pouches, but for 25p, I can't really complain. And they're the big pouches as well, and I like the fact that the Cowingate ones are clear because you can actually see them, so I don't mind, like, squeezing it straight onto a spoon with these ones. Um, like, the ones that aren't clear, sometimes, like, you don't know what they look like inside or if there's anything in there. But, yeah, I thought these were really cheap, 25p each, and it's always handy to, like, have one in the bag or something because you never know when uh, she's going to get hungry. And she likes these ones. What have I done? My you didn't do that. I think Mummy's just been scratching it. Speaking of Faye, I picked up some, some more of these Ashton and Parsons infant powder. And this is for teething, pain relief, for oral use. And you get 20 sachets in here, which is like 20 applications if you're using one. Um, but you can just use like half rather than like a whole sachet. So inside, I'll open them up. These are really good. They're about £3.50. So it's quite expensive, but it works. Like, it literally works. So inside, you open it up, and you've got, like, all these sections. And then it just comes with one of these, and it's just filled with a really finely milled powder. And when she's not that... When she's not that bothered by her teeth, I'll just give her half of one of these. But if she is quite bothered, then I'll give her the whole one. But this super works. I will say be careful, because it's, like, a really finely milled powder, so it's very dusty. So I poured some onto a spoon, and then... Um, Charlie opened the door and it blew everywhere off the spoon so I just open the sachet and pour it straight onto a tongue I like squeeze her cheeks so like she does that and then I pour it straight onto a tongue but this actually works then I just picked up this twin pack of the Febreze Ambipure 3 Volution and I got Lenore oh, I didn't realize it was actually Lenore flavored I normally get like the spring one spring something but this one actually says lenore on it oh yes yeah, spring awakening scent so it is the spring awakening one um i can't remember i think it must be this one that i normally get it must be but um the single packs were like three pound and then this one is obviously a twin pack and it was only 4.99 so i just thought that was a bit of a bargain and it smells so blooming good do you know the lenore fabric softener it literally just that. Speaking of smells, I am obsessed with wax burners and I've actually got a Scentsy plug-in burner. My friend does Scentsy. I'll have her um, shop link below. I've linked it below before. They do the nicest like smells. I find them a little bit pricey, but they do actually last. So my favourite are like berries and grapey and fruity smells. I'm not really so keen on like vanillas and lavenders um, and I like fresh scents as well. Like they do a really nice, um, I'll put in the description box below the three that I, I normally go for um but i thought i'd pick up some different ones to put in my actual burner with a candle um i got you can't see it but i've got like a unicorny sort of pinky colored burner over there and i really wanted to try um some different wax so this is just the glade luscious 
Cherry and Peony. Is that how you say it? Up to a 20, up to 120 hours per pack. Oh, they smell really good. And also the cubes are huge. The cubes are actually really big. I don't know if you tried the Yankee um, wax melts as well. I like them. I really rate the purple one and the pink one. Really bad with remembering flavours. Um, but you get six wax melts in here. And these were about £1.50 or so. They were less than £2. I know that. Um, but I thought I'd try Glade. And these smell incredible. If you're near a home bargain, definitely pick these up. Then I actually picked up two face masks. I thought me and Ashley could do like a face mask on date night. So this is the Black Seaweed Peel Off Deep Pore Detox Easy Peel Face Mask. Um, so I got that one. And then I also got this one, which I thought was hilarious. This is an alpaca face sheet mask. Helps improve skin elasticity and boosts your skin with cucumber extract. And it's for all skin types. But look at that. How cool is that? But I thought these would be cool to do like on a face mat on like a date night with like a glass of wine and a film. Um, but these are both less than a pound. I think this one was around like 70p and this was around 50p or something like that. Then I just picked up a three pack of one litre kitchen like Tupperwares. I buy so much Tupperware and I don't actually know what happens to it. Like if I do pasta salads, I thought these would be like perfect sort of size. Then, I don't know what Charlie's done with the wrapper, but I also picked up one of these, like, spiral wind chimes, which we hung out yesterday. That was 49p. It's just a purple one. It's like a spiral, and it, like, spins around really fast in the wind. But he wanted to put that up yesterday in the garden, so we did. Uh, but they had loads of different colours. So if you've got, like, young kids or you like that sort of stuff in your garden, they had, like, a massive garden range at the minute, which was really nice. I also picked up some garden shears to cut the bush in the back garden. But I used them yesterday because it was really hot, and I was trying to get Faye to sleep in her pushchair so I left her in a pushchair in the garden didn't want to leave her out there by herself so I thought now is the perfect time to trim the garden but oh well, yeah that was everything for my home bargains haul so I went in for pegs and a cutlery holder and came out with zero of those things so I'm potentially gonna have to go back soon to pick up them but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did don't forget to like and comment and let me know your favorite home bargains buys and i'll see you in my next video bye